men will only come to your light not to you if you are not carrying anything of value nobody will look for you gentiles don't come to you they come to your light let me tell you why you are alone you are alone because there is nothing notable coming out of you that is commanding the attention of men value is powerful you must have something to offer listen the table of greatness was so designed that you don't just go there and shift a chair and sit down the condition to join the great to sit on that table is that you first provide your value then that value is vetted there is a threshold level of competence you must attain in order to be granted a seat with the great being valuable as powerful as it is is not enough the highest position in every organization is for masters competence is a promoter it can lift you beyond your background it can lift you beyond your limitations there's a kind of music called music of the masters many of you have listened to it those guys have mastered the art of not failing when they sit down and they are playing they have come to a point where they are one with what they are doing they are not hoping they are right oh you must trust god to be a master at something nobody will come and indefinitely be loyal to you for nothing no when you study leadership there is a dimension of leadership that comes by results people want to see results they love you but they love themselves too they want to see genuine replicable consistent results if you're a man of god you must make up your mind that i will be competent i will be competent in ministry word delivery excellent prayer life excellent ethics of ministry administration and managerial intelligence excellent refuse to be small value is powerful when i learned this i began to rejoice i found my way out of mediocrity i found my way out of jealousy i found my way out of competition mastery lifts you to such a pedestal in life you are so distinguished it will look like life is flattering you but it's true let me tell you this i learned this and for the purpose of this discussion tonight i want you to write it down that the kingdom of god operates based on a reward system the kingdom of god operates based on a reward system and there is an auxiliary law that is tied to the law of competence the law of value the law of mastery i want to quote it for you so that you have it down and i pray that it will contribute to your lifting and your rising are you ready that the rewards that we have in life the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things number one the need or the demand for what you do your rewards our rewards in life is directly proportional to number one the need or the demand for what we do number two our ability or proficiency to do what we do this is where skill and excellence comes in your ability to do what you do and then number three the difficulty in replacing you I come again our rewards in life financial honor whatever kind of reward whether financial or psychic whatever kind of reward will always be in exact ratio in exact proportion to number one the demand or the need for what you do number two your ability to do what you do number three the difficulty in replacing you when there are easy replacements for you you will never go far in life 
this is not from a competitive standpoint but you must make up your mind to be exceptional it is true that no man is indispensable but make it difficult to find an alternative to you and the company will retain you begging i assure you as much as they are downsizing people in this nation there are people who will not spend one month without a job they are too competent for that kind of condition they literally are the brains behind many corporations many years ago i used to know a gentleman he was working three jobs and he was only working three or four times a week he used to live in kaduna state but he worked in lagos and the company would fly him every week he was an it consultant if he coughs i think they'll buy him a, a pharmacy not a drug Listen, you must be so valuable and you must be so competent. There is a measure of honor that only comes to masters. I made up my mind and you've heard me say it. I don't have an ambition to learn and know everything and to be exceptional in everything. But in the areas where God has called me, I made a covenant with myself and my life that I will stretch myself to a point of uncanny mastery. In ministry in leadership every grace that is available for signs and wonders I will contend for it by light thank God for that which is given me but I will not rest and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you listen you are a music you are a, you are a worshiper you are a music artist don't just sing and be looking for those who know you to keep recycling you around a day will come they will be tired of you because there will be too many alternatives you must trust god for illumination you must trust god for mastery learn at the feet of masters rise to a point where your songs don't die you are a businessman don't say I'm doing business. They are not patronizing me. Oh, I'm a chef. Who can place a demand for you? Until you serve kings, you cannot receive the reward of kings. If Koinonia only provides value to people who are outside of politics and governance and business, respectfully speaking and with every sense of responsibility then you will never be able to mentor kings and bless people the truths that are being dished out from here must be such that all and sundry can be benefactors of it truths that are consistent with scripture proven by the life of exceptional people exceptionally com communicated backed up by the power of the holy ghost like fire into your spirit you carry that truth and you can run with it competence make up your mind to be competent in the name of jesus you're a man of god make up your mind to be competent one headache per year you are not you'll be ready for empty pews not in the times that we live in you want to come and sing and you say don't worry don't worry about the wordings or oh, is it is it the melody just focus on the wordings then recite a poem recite a poem are we together yes i know that we all start gradually but make up your mind can i tell you this don't come and stand in front of the stage when you are not prepared you can relax with honor don't embarrass yourself relax with honor and train and train and make that mistake the stage is not for training apostle i'm tired of this level then rise through competence i'm tired of this level rise to serve kings i'm tired of this level as a man of god the key is not to ask people to come to listen to you the mere fact listen a mango tree does not call you it just produces fruits big and juicy a few months you pass the same tree as if you didn't see it now look at the skill you have to employ because of the the, the gift on it you use stones you use a rod you even climb it the tree never said you should be that desperate for it it only produced fruits i tell you why people are ignoring you 
there is nothing of there is nothing notable in your life you don't come to a tree that is not producing anything ask jesus your jesus jesus came to a tree that had green leaves and no fruit he didn't just advise it and say next year make sure that he cost it that's what men will do when you attract men to your presence and you have nothing to offer before you ask men come make sure the table is ready let all things be ready before you call men for a feast don't call for a miracle service when you've not contended for the grace for healing when they are not healed they will say i'm not healed don't call people to teach and then you are sharing things and sharing things and they go back and use the truth you're communicating and there's no results in their lives there is nobody who lives what works at the instance of results results are magnetic they can keep men there keep them in your company not by telling lies the greatest way to market is to tell the truth you have no fear when it is truth nothing to hide nothing to stage manage it is true if i tell you god will lift you believe me he will lift you if i tell you god is is shifting you it will happen because if he did not say it i don't have any business repeating you are only afraid if you speak on your own please make up your mind that you're going to be competent believe us let us not bring reproach to the name of jesus let us go back and do our homework in music in business in politics in leadership buy the truth and sell it not hallelujah every time i finish a meeting like this when i go back home sincerely speaking maybe just rest refresh a bit i'm getting straight to my work as i'm preaching here right now i have my own assignments and i have things i'm doing I return from a meeting straight to this place and when i'm done not even my tiredness is an excuse there is a generation that is depending on my competence there are people on wheelchairs right now who are depending on my contending for that power it is more than what you want don't prophesy nonsense everything you say is not correct don't say it's just god testing me go back and do your homework your name is john no i'm israel you have two children no i have ten you are coming from Abuja, I'm coming from outside this country. Abba, that margin of error is too human. You can't blame God for it. I made up my mind that I will never stand before anybody in this life and be intimidated to a point of shame. I will be challenged. I will be provoked unto godliness but never that i stand before anyone i found out the difference between you and anyone is number one your level of enlightenment number two the relationships that come at that enlightened level number three the grace that is at work on your life that's what separates people anybody you ever admire this is what separates him from you